thanks to my Patreon members for supporting this channel. You can support this channel by going to my Patreon page. Link is in the description below. Now back to the video. Transformers have revolutionized the field of AI, particularly in natural language processing tasks. Their ability to model sequences with precision combined with their scalability on modern GPUs has made them the backbone of large language models like GPT, BERT, and so on. The hallmark of a transformer is its, its self-attention mechanism, which allows it to weigh the importance of different parts of an input sequence dynamically. This mechanism excels in tasks such as language modeling, translation, and reasoning. But the self-attention mechanism is not without its own limitations. One major drawback is its quadratic scaling with sequence length. As the sequence grows, the computational uh, complexity and memory requirements becomes very large, especially in tasks that require long context understanding or retrieval. So to address this, people have developed alternative architectures such as linear transformers, which replace the expensive softmax-based attention with more efficient mechanisms. These innovations have shown promise, but they can still fail in certain domains, particularly when dealing with tasks requiring precise memory management over long contexts. This video, we shall explore a new frontier in this field, and we begin with the introduction of Gated Delta Networks, or Gated Delta Net for short. Now, this new architecture combines two previously independent approaches to memory management, gating mechanisms, and the delta rule, resulting in a system that is more efficient and highly effective for long context tasks. Now, going back, linear transformers aim to reduce the computational burden of self attention mechanism by framing it as a linear operation. The, such approaches such as a uh, kernelized dot product attention that allows them to process sequences more efficiently. However, it struggles with tasks that require precise memory management, such as in-context retrieval where the ability to recall specific pieces of information from earlier in a sequence is crucial. Now, we can take a look at linear transformers and kind of view it as an key to value association memory where each token in the sequence contributes a key and a value but as the sequence grows longer and longer than the model's dimensionality memory collisions occur where different pieces of information interfere with one another memory collisions occur right and it limits their capability to manage me information over extended sequences effectively. Now, there's a couple of things that we can try to address this problem right here, such as using gating mechanisms that is inspired by long short-term memory networks, LSTM, which provides a way to adaptively control the memory by introducing a gating variable alpha so that the models can dynamically erase or retain information at each time step. And now this is exactly what is being used by the, the MAMA2 model, which uses a simple gated update rule to uniformly decay stored information. And now the next approach is called Delta rule. Now this Delta rule originally uh, uh, is meant to selectively update memory by replacing old key value pairs with new ones in a sequential manner. Now, this rule has been implemented in models like DeltaNet, which is pretty good at synthetic tasks but struggles with rapid memory clearance when they, we switch contacts. Now, I mentioned these two mechanisms, both are great, but they are only able to address part of the memory management challenge. Now, the gating mechanism enables rapid erasure of outdated information while the delta rule provides targeted updates. Now, noting that both of them have complementary nature, the authors of this paper propose a unified solution called the gated delta rule. Now, this gated delta rule combines the strength of both the gating and the delta rule. 
It achieves this by introducing a flexible parameter, alpha, that controls the balance between memory erasure and selective updating. Specifically, when you adjust this alpha parameter close to zero, the entire mechanism behaves like a gating system that quickly, rapidly erase information. Now, when you increase it up to one, it switches to become the delta rule that updates specific key value pairs without affecting the others. And now, with this alpha value, it enables high flexibility uh, uh, which lets the model to adapt to different memory management needs dynamically. For instance, during a context switch where previous information becomes irrelevant, the model can set alpha to zero to clear memory rapidly. Conversely, when processing a continuous stream of relevant information, it can use the delta rule by setting it up to one to maintain precise key associations. Now, Implementing this gated delta rule efficiently posed a significant challenge, right? So, building upon previous work, right, previous work that parallelized the delta rule computation, the authors extended the algorithm to include gating terms. This extension preserves the benefits of parallelism, which makes the architecture hardware efficient and suitable for trading on modern GPUs. And now, this new architecture called Gated Delta Net uses this Gated Delta rule to improve memory management in linear transformers. Now, this innovation right here, it allows the model to perform consistently well across a wide range of benchmarks, including one, language modeling. Right, as it turns out, by doing so, Gelt uh, gated Delta Net outperforms existing models like Mamba 2 and Delta Net in predicting the next token in the sequence, showcasing its ability to model dependencies effectively. And number two, common sense reasoning. Task that requires logical inference and reasoning benefit from the model's precise memory updates and flexible erasure. And now, number three, in context retrieval. By reducing the memory collisions and enabling targeted updates, Gated Delta Net achieves superior performance in retrieving relevant information from earlier parts of the sequence. And number four, length extrapolation. Now, this architecture is robust when handling sequences longer than those seen on uh, during training, which is pretty crucial, right? And number five, long context understanding. Task that requires the integration of information over extended contexts, uh, highlighting the model's ability to manage and retrieve in information effectively. So, beyond standalone performances, the authors also explore hybrid architectures by simply combining the new gated delta net layers with other mechanisms such as sliding window attention or Mamba 2 layers. And now these hybrids can further enhance the training efficiency and the performance which demonstrate the uh, flexibility of this approach. Now, the development of gated delta net has significant implications for both research and industry. By addressing the limitations of existing linear transformers, it opens up new possibilities for deployment of efficient long context models in real world applications. For example, right, in language models, gated delta net can be used to train LLMs to handle longer inputs without the, uh, being too high computationally costly compared to ordinary transformer architectures. And next, it can be used for retrieval augmented systems where search engines and Q&A systems can benefit from the Delta Net ability to retrieve and process information over extended sequences. And lastly, scientific and technical domains. Tasks that requires integration of large volumes of data such as genomic analysis or legal document process stand to gain from this new improved memory management capabilities. Now, 
Gated Delta Net represents a significant advancement in the field of transformers. By combining both the gating mechanisms and the Delta rule into a single efficient framework, it addresses the long-standing challenges in memory management for long context tasks. The architecture's superior performance across diverse benchmarks highlight its potential to replace or augment existing models like MOBA2 and Delta Net. Moreover, their focus on hardware efficiency ensures that Gigator Delta Net is not just some theoretically appealing model, but it's also applicable for real world deployment. As hybrid architectures continue to evolve, combining the gated delta net with other mechanisms enables a whole plethora of possibilities, right, for more effective memory management. Now, in summary, Gated Delta Net offers a powerful and versatile approach to, the, to solve the limitations of the current uh, transformer architectures. And hopefully one day, we can use it and simply plug it in through hug, Hugging Face. Thanks for listening or watching and hope you all have a great day.